As many of you may know, Deontay Wilder will be back on Sky Sports for his next fight against Dominic Brazil on May 18. They will be contesting for the WBC World Heavyweight Championship, and it is a major grudge match. It has been previous between the two, where they had a fight in a hotel lobby after the fight between Deontay Wilder and Gerald Washington. Dominic Brazil also fought on the undercard, but there was a scuffle between Deontay Wilder's brother and Dominic Brazil, and Deontay Wilder got involved. That Marcellus Wilder is just nothing but trouble. He got smoothed out by a journeyman, and then he failed a drugs test. I don't rate him as a boxer or as a person. I think he needs to leave boxing. Boxing is way better off without someone like that giving it a bad name, most certainly. But obviously his brother, Deontay Wilder, has a WBC World Championship, and we have been hoping for very, very long that he will get in there with Anthony Joshua, and he has failed to do so. He has failed to deliver the fight to us, Anthony Joshua's fans, and Deontay Wilder's fans himself. So, I mean, he is failing his fans, but yet they still back him for some unknown reason. But Sky Sports' Adam Smith, he seems to believe that Deontay Wilder being back on Sky may pull the Anthony Joshua fight closer. Now, that is a great sentiment, and I would love to believe that, but I don't think it will be true, because I think Deontay Wilder will be back on BT Sport when he faces Tyson Fury for the rematch. They have already stated that the fight could take place in February 2020. Those are the words of Bob Arum, who is top-ranked promoter and promoter of Tyson Fury in the US. So, I mean, if he is saying that, then there has obviously been contact between the two camps, and they plan to have the rematch next, after their interim fights. Obviously, Tyson Fury fights Tom Schwartz, and Deontay Wilder will be fighting Dominic Brazil, his so-called mandatory. To be honest, I think that's a load of rubbish, to be honest. I mean, I have nothing against Dominic Brazil, but Dylan White should be mandatory. He has fought better opposition, and he's been working to get himself into that position for a very long time. He's number one in the WBC, yet he's not mandatory. Dominic Brazil is number four, and he is mandatory. So I don't know how they've managed to work that out, but again, they're protecting Deontay Wilder. They have always protected Deontay Wilder. The worst thing they've ever done to Deontay Wilder is call the rematch with Tyson Fury. And guess what? That didn't happen. But, I mean, if it happens again, then we have a new WBC World Champion, because Tyson Fury will beat his ass. You can guarantee that. He beat his ass last time, but Deontay Wilder just got lucky with the draw. I mean, you can see how happy he was getting a draw. He knew he lost that fight, and he still does. And the way he is behaving currently... I think it's completely out of hand saying that he wants to bury Dominic Brazil. I hope he loses, to be honest, for saying such a comment like that. But if he does come through Dominic Brazil, you can guarantee he will not get in there with Anthony Joshua. He does not want that fight. He has never wanted that fight. Shirley Winkle and Al Heyman, they don't want the fight either. They just want to keep the WBC world champion, paper champion at that, on Showtime, Fox, and with BBC. I don't understand why, though, because they have the chance to make the biggest fight in world boxing, and possibly one of the biggest fights ever, yet they are shying away from it, just so they can keep Deontay Wilder on their platform, which is just rubbish. I mean, they're supposed to be advisors and managers, not promoters. They are acting like promoters, just trying to milk money off of Deontay Wilder. The same thing they say that Eddie Hearn is doing to Anthony Joshua, they are doing to Deontay Wilder. They are only apparently so-called calling Eddie Hearn on it because they are doing it themselves. They are doing it to Deontay Wilder. Eddie Hearn works for Anthony Joshua. That has been made clear. Anthony Joshua is the boss, and Eddie Hearn puts him first. And I don't think you can say the same for Shirley Winkle and Al Heyman. They don't have Deontay Wilder's best interests at heart. They have their own best interests at heart. That is plain to see. And you can see that Shirley Winkle has completely taken over Deontay Wilder. And Deontay Wilder has let him. Because in a recent interview, Deontay Wilder was asked a question. And Shirley Winkle stepped in and said, I'll answer that one. And Deontay Wilder, shut up. So that tells you just who the boss really is. It is Shirley Winkle. So all in all, I do not agree with Adam Smith. I don't think that pulls the fight even closer. I just think that Deontay Wilder wants to avoid Anthony Joshua at all costs, and it's just a coincidence that is back on Sky. I think Deontay Wilder will go for the Tyson Fury rematch, but then again, if he takes that fight, he loses anyway. So to be honest, I don't think we will see Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder for Undisputed. It will have to be Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury for Undisputed after Tyson Fury beats Deontay Wilder in their rematch. But guys, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think Deontay Wilder is ducking Anthony Joshua? And do you think him being back on Sky will change things? And do you think Deontay Wilder will try and duck Tyson Fury in the rematch even? Please drop your thoughts in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys.